And uh, we are back. So you see it. We're live here. We got Boss Dark Sun right here. We're joining the battle. Thank you so much for the follow. You're tuning in here to the final Swiss round of Straight Out of Smashville's PR tournament. These are the power rankings, the top 16 of our very long season. This the this season actually started last year in September and it is coming to an end today. Our next season. You know, I'll let you guys know by the end of the stream when it will be but you know how it is man we always try to ensure we got ourselves some great events top quality wi-fi events for you all we appreciate everybody who always joins our tournaments we appreciate the scene we know about it homies we know we know you guys could be anywhere but you are here with us yes the c minus obviously uh finishing the, in the pr i think top 14 i could be wrong i hope i'm not Amazing player. And we're going to get IJ. Now, we saw what IJ did to Cobra earlier today. Oof, that was a yikes. Man, did that hurt to see Cobra get that beating right there. Now, we also saw C- minus also get a beating on, here, on stream right here up against Hydra. So, both of these players right now have a chance to redeem themselves. You know, both of them suffering some hard defeats. And we're going to get into the first match. It is best of three. This could potentially be the last match we're going to get here before the top eight bracket. We will see. But first, three, let's two, get it started. One, uh, we're going to be heading go. here into Pokemon Stadium 2. And are off to the start with the grenade popping in into a quick dash attack already. Now, a lot of times with Yoshi, especially with a, a, a player of IJ's caliber, it is so difficult to one know the matchup and two how to deal with the pressure that IJ provides. And now we get that into those up smash to the next one. Quick percent in the down air across. And he's still mixing it up over and over again. IJ has been just connecting with that over and over again. Trying to throw him off right there with the grenade. Trying to go with the dash attack. But what happened? He gets it again and again. But the eggs all day, er day. Throwing him off right there. Gonna get onto the ledge. That has a down air. Flares with the forward air. And this match is looking super close today. We got 101%. So we got some hefty percent here. But IG is waiting very patiently like a shark right there in the middle of the stage. Waiting for that landing. You know what's gonna be happening. Good parry on that down B, because you know if the Yoshi's land that your shield look like a Skittle or it's gone. He wants to connect with the up smash to provide some more pressure, but I just doing such a great job to get out of any of those situations. And now right there, C minus has it in hand. He wants to roll around there. Has him ready, but it's a good option to do a get up attack instead because C minus is looking for a slip up into the steel toe. C minus definitely doing a much better job than we saw last time from, from IG's last opponent. But the down B will be doing it right there. IG taking the first stock of this match. It, it has been a close one so far, but with IG having C minus at fresh stocks, that is combo time. And the downer right there, that's one of those most damaging moves here in the game. Unfortunately, landing with a bit of the hits, but look at that, 29%. C-minus looking for the steel toe, wants to connect. I was surprised he opted for the up air right there. I guess he expected that IG was going to really double jump over him. IG right here all day early with an egg for breakfast, tossing it over. And C-minus again has letting the damage get to him and tally up. Trying to find him all the way. What pressure, but unfortunately couldn't find the landing from IJ as he actually just covers it up with the neutral B. And now C minus there and critical percents here on that first stock. I mean on that second stock. He's not looking good as IJ deletes it right there with a dirty read, 30 percentage. And now up two stocks looking super strong. IJ has leveled up since the last time we've seen him here and straight out of Smashville. Making it onto the top 16 PR. But never seeing such strong dominance over players like this. Finally, C minus will find what he needs. Gets that first stock, but now, man, he is down by quite a lot. Needs to find a way to turn this situation around. IJ, very nice, looking for it right here. What is C minus going to do to respond? He does have the green in hand. I think he was looking for the backer out of shield, but IJ was playing too smart to get hit by that. 
32% tallying up slowly over him. I just doing such a great job of not just landing to any of the tricks that C minus has planted. No, there's no C4s, there's no grenades for him. It's just no easy pickings for C minus. Finally does land a grenade. It's not gonna be enough just yet though. Misses with it and he wants to get the roll, but he hits that grenade instead. C minus air dodge is off the stage. I don't know what he was thinking. Very unfortunate for him right now. As we're gonna see IJ take the first game, but remember it is a best of three, so this is a critical first game. But let's take a look at one of the disgusting plays right here that we saw from IJ. Um, let's just give me one moment to pull it up. Are you guys ready? Oof. The dirty read to come out right there. Has him pressured. I think he lands there on the platform on the right side. Hits him on the egg. Dirty read and just stands there looking at his opponent, letting him know, boy, I read you like a boring novel, my dude. We're going to see what C-Binds going to be able to respond with. I mean, remember, this is the last match of the round five. Now, for our brackets, as they commence right here, uh, we do have Cobra taking one game over Enhanced so far. We have Remix taking one over Seb Sebae. And we got Hydra taking one over Nine Super Pie. On the other side of the bracket, we have ourselves Mr. Alan Sonic playing it off, Sword and Blue Jay, Cytonics, and Midnight. Now, with that being said, we're heading into game two. I hope you're all entertained with the incredible match that we have two, unfolding in one, front of us. Go! Thank you so much here for tuning in on a Sunday. I know we got some big tournaments here lined up. I know Genesis is happening, but you're here with us, and we definitely appreciate that. IJ, though, doing a great job stopping it yet again. Only taking percentage of madness. This home is going popping off as we're still continuing the pressure and the combo. Finally, C minus try to put an end to it, but he got stuffed right back, right away. Forward tilt the hit. He does not opt to go for the second hit. I think he was looking for a dirty read, but he is gonna get that swallow in with the up smash. And I love that pressure to come out of IJ with the down tilt spam, but it's not gonna be going through with C minus just yet. Good pressure right there. IJ's just been doing such a good job. He is not making it easy for the C minus fan. Try the DI that to live it, and now we're trying to see a repeat of what happened here in the last match. IJ trying to kind of run with it. He's seen him dominantly perform twice now on stream. But we'll see Minus be able to turn it around. If there is a character that can do a comeback, it is Snake indeed. And now we got see Minus there. We're trying to pull up the bricks. Gets the forward tilt connected right there off of IJ. And that down B rips it right through the Nikita, straight right there into the hands of C minus. He unfortunately gets hit by it. Only 42% so far. IJ though mixing up his recovery and able to actually land that egg right there. Nikita though not going to be hidden there, and we're going to see what happens. We got the Nikita popping out yet again. Still not enough. Egg into the up smash. What are we seeing here for C minus? Can he end this stock? He does. He gets the read. He gets the up tilt. And now we are even out at two stocks each. What the hell do you mean? Po Pokegar, what, what are you talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I'll get back to the action. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. We got grenades laying around everywhere. We got the reverse beat throwing around here. Let's see what C minus could do. He's at 103%. IJ taking his time. He knows he's got quite the lead. Co Kobe died? What? What? You guys got it. You guys are joking, right? Oh, it's, it's joke? Kobe died? What?
I am, I'm, I'm sorry about my um sorry about my commentary that uh that uh that hurts uh <laughs> it kind of hurt um I'm a huge uh I'm a huge basketball fan uh, damn y'all just give me a moment eh hold up. Almost had that up till I can't believe he missed. He tried to go for it again. Has that grenade in hand. This match is so close. We are only two minutes left on the clock, and we know that IJ expects that steel toe to come out. But the Nikita will be doing it for him this time around. We're gonna be seeing C minus tying up the set. Man, you know, one of the pains of Twitch is that you're live. You're live. It's in the moment. So, of course, I hear some news that uh, throws me off a bit. Definitely kind of painful, you know, but uh, I will be as professional as I can. We do have SOS PR tournament happy today, so I will mourn for a legend that we lost today. Definitely hurts. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be a painful one. Damn, man. That's some crazy stuff. Sorry I had to, like, kind of... Yo, I couldn't commentate through that, guys. That was kind of tough, but don't worry, man. We're gonna, we'll are gonna stick right through it. Because we got ourselves a Hype Game 3 to come in here. Once again, I just want to thank everybody. Thank you so much here for tuning in. Straight out of Smash Bros. PR Tournament. If you haven't followed yet, you know what I would say, too, man. Yo, hit that follow button. Follow me. Hit that follow button. Follow us on Twitter, by the way. We definitely need some Twitter clout, too. Yo, I put a lot of work into that Twitter. So hopefully you guys got it. You know what to do. I'm going to plug it right there. Give us a follow there on Twitter. Follow us here on Twitch. Hey, if you're feeling extra generous, like I've said, thank you so much to the Tree Gang with all the subs. This is how we bring these prize pools to our competitors. Uh, we also have our... our donations that we've gotten and actually one of them is streaming at the moment so we got just jack live with pool two so we're gonna get into game three only one of these homies right here they're, i think they're both on the brink of elimination from my understanding but every win in this round counts especially with these two competitors only the top four will be moving on from each pool into top eight where we will now begin the best of five sets we got there that A into the up smash and C minus yet again, just repeating the slow starts from the past two games. So now we got a very, very nice little mix up on the landing right now. Who is going to be the one to try to get into the top eight? IJ has just been so extraordinary today of all days, popping off on, on screen, destroying Koda. And now C minus was taking him apart in the first game. He did drop that game two though, but it took C minus to do a crazy comeback. He'd be st st uh, to still be in this set. The key to popping out there, that was the key last time. Did he have the, does he have a C4 tag on him? No, he does not, but he has an up smash there, ready for it. Good parry, and now both of them at that dangerous percent again. Now C minus right here, opting to be a little bit more patient. What a mix up to come in there. Super nice stuff, C minus with a very nice up tilt to take the lead for the first time here in this set. 
IG went for it straight to the top, man. He wanted that up there so badly. Grenade hit in there. IG is gonna dunk it with the big nose, my dude. He's still looking to dunk it again. IJ is so aggressive right now. And now it is IJ's turn. He's gonna have to be the one to get the comeback because he is down a considerable percentage. It is now C minus with the very hefty lead. Damn, man. Yo, these guys are going off right here. Okay, so we got IJ right there. Gonna be able to take the stock, but is that 116 Although we did see C minus be able to come back from this kind of situation. Now it's gonna be IJ's turn to have to do it. Very nice forward tilt to keep him off to the stage with the Nikita darting right towards him, and it's not gonna be enough, but he gets the C4 cleanly. Crazy matches to come out. Good down tilt, but that could be there. Was be pesky. Luckily though, for C minus, not gonna get hit by it. So he's playing around with that C4 just in case Ivy tries to get any closer. He's up a full stock. He's trying to get as much extra credit. In fact, maybe even take the stock. But IJ's got that pressure and the combos we have been seeing. IJ been playing so nice. Can he bring this back? Oh, we'll see minus run with this. That grenade though, very clutch coming in there. Save the day for him. Reverse the up B, but he gets the up air instead. That was not a good move right now as IJ is down to his last stock at such high percent with C minus right here. Throws him off. Looks for the dunk off the stage. IJ looks super aggressive. C minus gonna have to take that. He does take it, but he goes up B with the wrong way. He's attacking again. He actually lives it on the top left of the blast zone, I'm sure. That is not fun for IJ. You cannot believe he's actually able to get through that situation. Yeah, that was actually so nice, man. That was crazy nice. The Steel Toe now in play. You know snakes, man. When they feel that's coming, you know you're going to be seeing these homies right there tossing those boots for days. He gets the... I don't even know what that was, but we're going to get a replay of that one. Even if IJ loses, that was nuts. I think that was an 8 kill on the top, but the Nikita will take it. And C- minus might put himself in a position to maybe move on. C- minus might actually have just gotten the W that he needed. I think both those players needed this. I don't know, but we're going to be seeing it right here. Let's take a look at that ridiculous replay to come in there. Super nice stuff. I mean, we got to see what, what, what IJ did here. I know IJ ended up losing the set, but I think he tosses the egg and he gets the kill from that. And C- minus with the W will be moving on. I think let's take a look at some of these standings right now. So... Hydra taking it over 2-0 over 9 Super Pie with Sebae taking it 2-1 over Remix. And we got Enhanced 2-1 over Cobra. And now you saw it for yourselves with C- minus taking it 2-1 over IJ. Mr. L and Sonic 3167 are the last set to be played right here before we get into our top 8. While we are waiting for our next competitors and such, uh, we do have Enhanced finishing it on the top, Undefeated. Hydra, Nine Super Pie, and Sebae will be the four to make it through. That means C- minus could not get enough to make it out. So regardless of the winner of that match, it's very unfortunate. Both of them ended up getting eliminated at the end. Enhanced, Hydra, Nine Super Pie, and Sebae will be making it out of Pool 1. While we wait, Please, homies, remember, please show some support right here for these these donations that came from these players.